You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face here for Greater Brockton. I have Nicolene, did I say it right? Yes. <laughs> Batista, who is the Connect Activities Coordinator for Baywood YouthWorks. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks Thank for you. Being <laughs> in the um, you're doing a great event. It's the 19th annual Connecting Activities Partnership Career Day. Big mouthful, right? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, and that is on Tuesday, April 5th from 8 to 1145 at the Shaw Center in Brockton. What are we going to do that day? What are we doing? All yeah. right, it's a lot. So um, the day is going to start off. I'll have the business representative come um, about 20 minutes early. Um, they'll get breakfast, continental breakfast. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have um, the first group of students attend from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. And we're looking to hopefully have about 50 or more employers, um, community organizations at the event. And they're going to have a table um, where they can bring a whole bunch of materials that they can share with the um, students. And um, so the students will go around. They're going to have a pamphlet um, called a passport. Mm -hmm. And they will have a list of all the business representatives there. And their goal is to just walk around, get to know who's there, um, ask as many questions that they, as they want, like um, the education they need to get in the field that the business rep is in or... Um, how much, you know, what they need on their resume, so things like that. And um, students, their goal is to at least talk to nine businesses um, and get a signature from them. And then they'll be entered to win um, a $50 gift certificate or a $25 gift certificate. I'm still in the works um, okay. to figure that out. So it's just to get the students engaged, because I know some students might show up and not want to do anything. So we try to push them to at least talk to nine of the business representatives that are going to be there. And looking at this, okay, there's all these little bullet points here. Mm -hmm. uh, education and human services, finance, business management, sales and marketing, manufacturing and construction, mm -hmm. info technology, arts, media and communications. We're going to be there. Yes. <laughs> Jay Miller's going to be there. Cosmetology, armed services, health science, government, court, law enforcement, travel, hospitality, <laughs> retail, animal care, architecture, and agriculture, just to name a few. A few, right? right? <laughs> and there are great Brockton businesses and, and community organizations that'll be there. Where do the kids come from? I know they come from Brockton High School itself, the Brockton Public Schools. Where else? Um, so we have Brockton High School. We yeah. have um, the Keats School. Yeah. We have Goddard School. Mm -hmm. um, Avon Middle High School. Stoughton High School, yeah. Whitman Hanson Regional Tech, I believe, or Regional Whit High School. I think Whitman Hanson Regional High School. And regional then High School, is and the then tech. Southeastern Regional Which High School. Which I'm on the school committee. For, oh, by nice. The way. <laughs> okay, now you also told me you're bringing over Training Resources of America and Youth Build. Youth Build, yes, and then also a North River Collaborative. They have um, an Independence Academy and um, a right. North River School, so they'll be invited as oh, well. Oh, good. Okay, so you get kids from all over the place, and uh, always room. For for more, right? Yes, and we're looking to um, recruit more outside of um, the other schools like Oliver Ames, and the surrounding schools of the Brockton area. We're going to invite them as well. So you get the passport, you go around, you talk to nine businesses, you get entered into a drawing, and yes. you learn about the, your, your future. Yes. Basically. Yeah. Do you like your job? I do. I love it. Okay. Um, what do you think the kids get out of the day? Is there, have you have are you fairly? How long have you been in where where you are in your job? Um, in the position, yeah. I've been in the position for about six months. Okay, but I was at Baywood before that right. for almost three years. Okay. I left for a year. Okay, and then I came back. Okay, so I guess about four years. So you're enjoying what you're doing. Yes, I okay. love it. Um, what can? What do you think? one takeaway might be from this event for a young person? Something they would take back, um, you guess, know, after they leave for the day, they go back to school, they go back home, and they tell mom and dad what they experienced. I guess the different types of jobs they could potentially get after high school and or college. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to, you know, to promote college readiness, you know, to get the kids to go into secondary, post-secondary ed. Okay. And then to let them know how many different jobs are out there if they don't have an idea of what they want to do. Which some people don't. I right. tell my students that I teach at Massasoit because we have like a liberal arts transfer you can do so you don't have to decide necessarily. Exactly. It helps you to decide. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. um, they didn't have it back in my day. Um, you just kind of like, okay, you did this, you did that. I, there was a TV studio at Brockton High. 
So quite honestly, uh -huh. I got bit by the TV bug and I decided I wanted to do that. <laughs> but I thought I was going to do political science in law school. And then when I went to college, I did that. That mm -hmm. was a double major, but I got into the journalism part more oh, than anything else. Okay. And nowadays you can do internships, externships. I know Bayweb does a lot with summer jobs programs for kids, so you can yes. actually explore the career that you might want to be in. And then maybe if you do, sometimes you like it and sometimes you don't. Right. <laughs> you decide you want to do something else. But you were telling me before, before we were recording, that um, you know people might be able to go there and brush up on their resume a little bit, learn learn how to, you know, get some tips from the the employers that are there. I know I mean our when I've been there in the past, I teach on Tuesday and Thursday mornings, so I can't do this one, but when they've been on other days, we bring a camera there. Right. That's kind of exciting. People like to see the camera. We set up a monitor. They can see themselves on TV. Oh yeah, you know, yes. they're, they're kind of primming and you know, prepping for TV. But the other ones, I mean, there's so many um, you have law enforcement listed down. So does that mean like Brockton Police Department or the Sheriff's Office or Yes, so like that? both. So Brockton both. Police Department, um, the Plymouth County Sheriff's. Sheriff's. Yeah. And I I think I'm missing one more. I don't know what the other one is. Okay. Um, we don't yeah. want to get you in trouble by not right. mentioning. Exactly. Is there fire there too? Or yeah, the fire, fire department, department. Which is there. right next door. So exactly. it's pretty convenient. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then um, armed services recruiters because it's a great idea. You know, yes. if, if you have the stamina and the drive to go into the armed services, you get preference when you get out for different types of hiring, specifically public safety. If you exactly. want to be a police officer and you go into the Marines or the Army, you get out, you have a veteran's preference. Yeah. You also have money for college exactly. by going <laughs> into the armed services. So um, what, are, what, are the, what are the most popular ones you think people are going to pick when they, when, when they go there? What, you know, if, uh, did you know what you wanted to do when you were? In uh, high school? Yeah. I did. I had an idea. I wanted to be an elementary school teacher, but it just didn't work out that way. But this is I another just way changed. to be an elementary school teacher. You're it teaching is. people. Exactly, Think about yeah. It. I got teaching in the blood. I've, my two grandmothers were elementary teachers. My mother was. My dad taught at Stonehill mm -hmm. and at Massasoit. Oh, nice. And I've been there for, in Massasoit for 23 years. It's like education is in, kind of in the blood. Right. I <laughs> love that part. And over here, we teach people how to make television. Nice. How to learn to do television. So. Um, what have I forgotten? Anything that I haven't mentioned that you um, want to mention? I forgot to mention that there's two sessions. So, um, okay. so we have that morning session that we'll have one group of students coming in for 8 to 9.30. Then we have a second session from 10 a.m. to 11.30. Okay. So it gives the reps a half hour break in between to prep for the next group of students that will come. And I remember going back a few years. It's nice and spread out. The Shaw Center yes. is a big place. There's plenty of parking there so you can fit all the buses that exactly. come in there. Or, <laughs> I don't know if the Brockton kids walk across the... The, the, where the baseball stadium is. To they probably, walk there. I don't know yeah. from what angle they walk from, yeah. but they, they will be walking over. So okay. that's, yep. Um, and I think you asked me what the best part um, of the event is. I feel like we've had Lincoln Tech there before. Yeah. And they've done massage, massages. So oh, okay. the kids love that. So hopefully they'll be coming back. We have um, Sound Lab. They'll have their DJ equipment playing music. Um, last year we had Zumba. Okay, um, there we you had go. Um, a lady dance and zoom and teaching them a couple of steps and then yeah there's a lot of different exciting things that's going to happen on that day well, so students it'll it. be entertaining we're looking forward to it i'm just going to run down the time and date okay. tuesday april 5th from 8 to 11:45 at the shaw center in brockton is the 19th annual connecting activities partnership career day thank you for being here to talk about it thank you nice to meet you nice to meet you too you're watching greater brockton mark Lindy, your host Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.